This lesson, we're going to learn how to solve a linear system by substitution. Let's look at example one. Why don't we go through all the steps? Step one: isolate one of the variable by rearranging the equation. Whenever we choose a variable to isolate, we choose the variable to have the coefficient of one, if possible. So, if you look at those two equation, equation one and two. Equation one, the variable y has a coefficient of one, so we are going to isolate for this y. From equation one, we know two x plus y equals six. Let's isolate for y by subtracting two x on both sides of the equation. We get y equals six minus two x. Step two, substitute the isolated variable from step one into another equation to solve for another variable. So we will substitute y equals six minus two x back into equation two. So we get three x plus two. Whenever you see y, you replace it with six minus two x equals to ten. Expand and simplify. We get x equals to two. Step three: substitute the value of the other variable into one of the equations to solve for the isolated variable. So we will do substitute x equals to two into the isolated variable, which is y equals six minus two x, and we will get y equals to two. Let's check our solutions before we make a conclusion. So from equation one, we know two x plus y equals six. Left hand side is two x plus y. Substitute x equals to two and y equals to two into the left hand side. We get six. On the right hand side of the equation is six. Since left hand side and right hand side are the same, therefore we know the point two two is on line one. Check with the equation two. Left hand side is three x plus two y. We do the same thing, substituting x equals to two and y equals to two into the left side. We get ten. Right hand side is also ten. Therefore, we know two two is also on line two. Therefore, we can make a final conclusion. The solution is at two two. Example two. Once again, let's label equation one and two, and let's look for a variable that has a coefficient of one, which is here. So we will say from equation two, negative x plus three y equals eight. Let's isolate for negative x, and we want to use positive x. So we multiply negative one on both sides, and let's rearrange them. So x equals three y minus eight. Next, we have to substitute x equals three y minus eight into equation one to solve for y. So we know three times by x, which is three times by three y minus eight plus two y equals to nine. Expand and simplify. We get eleven y equals to thirty three. Divided by eleven on both sides, we get y equals to three. Now we substitute y equals to three back into the isolated variable x equals to three y minus eight. We get x equals to three times by three minus eight. X is going to be one. Therefore, our solution is at one three. Example three. By looking at the linear system, we already see one of the equation has an isolated variable on the left hand side, so it will be easier to do substitution. However, we are going to solve the system by elimination as well, just to see the difference. First, let's label equation one and two. By using a substitution, we will do substitute y equals half x minus three into equation two. So when we rewrite equation two, we will replace the y with half x minus three, and we will have an equation x plus half x minus three equals negative six. You could collect the like terms, or you could multiply by the common denominator, which is a two, to eliminate the fractions. So we're going to get two x plus x minus six equals negative twelve. Collect the like terms, simplify it. And we will get x equals negative two. Substitute x equals negative two back into the isolated variable y equals half x minus three. Then we will get y equals negative four. Now, by using elimination, 
First, we have to rearrange equation one to have x and y and constant term at the end of the equal sign. So we will get negative half x plus y equals negative three. That's called equation three. And we have x plus y equals negative six. Once again, I do not like to use fractions whenever I'm solving a problem. So I will times equation three by two to eliminate the fractions. Again, negative x plus two y equals negative six. The other equation remain the same. So now I look at the variable x. They have the same coefficient. One is a negative one. The other one's a positive one. So I'm going to use addition to eliminate the variable x. So equation four plus equation two. I got three y equals negative twelve. Y will be negative four. Substitute y equals negative four into equation two. I will get x minus four equals negative six, and I can find x is negative two. Therefore, the solution is negative two, negative four. Example four. As you can see from this example, there is no variable that has a coefficient of one, so it will be best to use elimination. So that's the label equation one and two. In order to get rid of the decimals in equation one, we have to times by ten. So equation one times by ten, we will get five x minus four y equals to five. That's a called equation three. And from equation two, once again, if we times by ten, we will be able to get rid of the decimal. So become thirty x plus a y equals to fourteen. That's a called equation four. In order to use elimination, we need to make sure one of the variable has the same coefficient. So I look at negative four and eight. The common multiple will be eight. So equation three times by two, I got ten x minus eight y equals to ten. And equation four remain unchanged. I look at the coefficients of the y. One is negative a. The other one is positive a. So we know we have to use addition. To eliminate the variable y, so we do equation five plus equation four. We get forty x equals to twenty four. Divided by forty on both sides, reduce the fraction. So we know x equals to three over five. Once we find the value of x, we can substitute x equals to three over five back into the equation one, two, three, or four to solve for y. However, since this value is a fraction, and sometimes it could be very easy to make a mistake, therefore we could do elimination again to solve for y. So I will go back to the linear system here, equation three and four, and try to make the coefficient of x to be the same. So equation three times by six to get a thirty x minus twenty four y equals a thirty. That's called equation six, and equation four remain unchanged since the coefficient of the x term are both positive thirty. So we have to use subtraction to eliminate the variable x. So we do equation six minus equation four. We get negative thirty two y equals sixteen divided by negative thirty two on both sides. Then we reduce the fraction. We know y equals negative half. Therefore. Our solution will be at three over five, comma negative one over two.